This is the A406, the boundary for the ultra low emission zone in London. This is a toy from my childhood, the Transformer Ultra Magnus. And this is the Behringer UC200 Ultra Chorus. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Behringer UC200 Ultra Chorus pedal. So we've looked at these Behringer pedals before. Uh, this is the first one that isn't a drive pedal. We've looked at the vintage overdrive, um, the vintage tube overdrive pedal, and also the OD300 overdrive distortion pedal, which will be making a guest appearance in this video later on. Now I've talked about the build of these um, Behringer pedals before. They're plastic. Um, they'll probably probably be fine if you're going to use them at home. No problem, you'll be fine. If you're doing some uh, some heavy duty touring, they might not be the best pedals for you. If you're using it live, I don't know. I'd probably prefer a metal enclosure just for peace of mind, but these probably should be fine for a few gigs, probably more than that, especially if it just lives on a pedal board where it's in, put in a case afterwards, you should be fine. But with a constant stepping on the plastic bits and, uh, and, and the cheap components inside, uh, it prob I'm not sure how long it will last, but generally speaking, if you're a beginner or if you want to give this as a gift to someone, it actually sounds pretty good. All of these do actually, so you know you can check them out if you want some good, some good tones at a cheap price. Speaking of price, this cost me about twenty quid, twenty pounds here in the UK. I think it's about the same in the US, about twenty dollars or so. I know these other ones were about twenty twenty one dollars in the in the US, so with such a cheap price yeah, you're going to get cheap components so you know as in terms of the longevity of these pedals i'm not too sure but they do sound good and as i said if you're a beginner or if you're just using it at home yeah no problem but yeah we're about to jump into this one if you want to see reviews on these other pedals here uh, i'll put that in the link in the description i'll probably have some cards come up here as well uh, at, at some point maybe now these have been very popular videos of mine as well and hopefully this one will be as well so check those out uh, and let's get into the Behringer Ultra Chorus. Here's my clean sound on the uh, bridge pickup. Neck pickup. In between. So the Behringer Ultra Chorus is a stereo pedal and we're going to check out some of the stereo stuff later on. Uh, at the moment it's uh, set in mono and I'll explain why later on as well. In order to use the stereo side, what I've done is I've uh, connected it to the HX stomp here and I've got my uh, Fender Deluxe Reverb patch uh, here. And you can also hear that I've done the delays in stereo as well. Can you hear that? So if you're listening on headphones, you should be able to hear that's in stereo. Although the other delay I've got, I think is in mono. Yeah. Let's check out the Behringer Ultra Chorus with everything at 12 o'clock. Sounds like a chorus pedal. Uh, we have level, tone, rate, and depth, which I believe is the same as some of the uh, Boss chorus pedals we have. I'm not sure if this is based on a Boss chorus pedal or not, but that's the uh, those are the controls that we have. Let's see what the level does. So it controls the level of the chorus, not the whole, not the entire level of the whole signal, just the chorus side. If I'm using a chorus, I like to have the chorus stand out, so I tend to have the level kind of high up. So tone should be the tone of the chorus sound. So if I turn it all the way down, it, sh it should make the tone of the chorus uh, lower, as opposed to the whole thing sounding uh, having a lower tone. 
yeah, it's almost disappeared. The uh, the sound of the chorus. Let's turn it up a bit. Let's go all the way. So if you want a brighter chorus, turn that tone up. I think the middle sounded okay though. Rate will be the speed of the oscillations. Let's turn it all the way up. Very bizarre. We like it. Or maybe we don't, depending on if you like chorus sounds or not. So that's with the rate at about three o'clock. I kind of generally use chorus with the rate quite slow. Uh, let's have a and check out depth. So depth will be how much, how much of the effects you want. Well, not not necessarily how much. That's the level, but how deep the oscillation goes. Basically, it's kind of the more control. Generally, I like to have quite a lot of uh, of depth when I'm using chorus. That's that's just how I like it. Let me also say the delay sounds I have don't have any modulation on them, so you shouldn't confuse uh, your chorus sound with modulation on for the delay because there isn't any modulation on the delays.
So I thought I'd see how the Behringer Ultra Chorus works in conjunction with the drive pedal. So you may have seen my review on the uh, Behringer OD300 overdrive distortion pedal. Uh, if you're interested in that, a, a pedal which does overdrive and distortion, then check out the uh, card above. Let's turn it on. Let's turn this off as well. So here's my sound. Let's turn that reverb off. So it's just a bit of drive, a bit of light drive there. Turn the chorus on. So light drive with some chorus. Let's check it out. So I used to play with organ pedals when I was in my teens, and one thing I discovered you could do is you could kind of get this faux organ sound, which I'm going to try and do this. And the way you do that is you turn the rate basically all the way up, and I guess you could turn the, uh, the depth all the way up as well. This is maybe my teenage self talking, very unsophisticated guitar player. So let's try that. So rate all the way up, depth all the way up. Let's go neck pick up. Here's my clean sound. Let's see if we can get that organ sound. Nah, not so much. It's a bit too wobbly. If I turn the depth down, maybe that might help. Let's try that. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, it's better. So maybe the depth was just was just too strong. Couldn't handle it. Okay, it kind of does the organ thing, not as well as other pedals I've tried. All right, let's talk about stereo. So let me hook it up and then we'll talk about it. So I've connected the Ultra Chorus in stereo, so it's now coming out of both A and B and going into the two inputs of the Line 6 Helix uh, of the HX Stomp. So I'm assuming out A and out B are stereo channels. If anyone knows any different, let me know. I haven't actually checked. Maybe I should have done first. Uh, I'm not sure if A is actually like a like a TRS out and B is like a dry signal or something like that. But I tried this earlier on, but I'm going to assume that out A and out B are left and right. So I did plug it in earlier on in stereo uh, and I noticed something and I thought I'd uh, explain this to you in case you were thinking of using uh, the ultra chorus in stereo. So here's my clean sound. <laughs> When I turn this on and it's connected in stereo, I think you'll notice like a slight volume drop. It's not as punchy as it was when it's the clean sound. So I'll play the clean sound again and I'll turn the pedal on. So you can still hear that there's chorus there, but just the whole the the level of the whole signal seems to have dropped. my clean signal. Signal's dropped. I'm not sure why that is. The tonally it still sounds the same, I think. Um, I was going to have a listen to it to see if I could hear it in stereo. To be honest, I've never really used chorus pedals in stereo. I've always just, well, I've always 
had one amp anyway, so I only used to plug them in, in in mono. So I'm not too sure what what the sound is meant to be like in stereo. But let's have let's have a listen. Let's go to the neck to the bridge pickup. <laughs> Let me turn things up, turn up depth and level, see if we can get the chorus sound to be really prominent in, in our ears. So, you are, if you're at home, can you hear any kind of stereo sound from the chorus pedal so to me to my ears it sounds the same maybe i'm missing something but i can't hear anything particularly distinguishable between the mono and the and the uh stereo sound here's my delay in stereo and here's no delay just the chorus pedal in stereo apparently No, I still can't hear anything. Either I'm missing something or I've plugged it in wrong. If you know, please let me know as well. So that is the Behringer UC200 Ultra Chorus Pedal. If you're looking to sweeten up your clean sounds, uh, you can do that with the Chorus Pedal. <laughs> Uh, and this one's only about £20 here in the UK, which I think is about the same in the US, about $20 or so. So pick one up. If you want to get one off Amazon, I've got some links down below and you can check, you can pick them up. And, and yeah, as I said, really cheap. Good chorus pedal, if that's what you're looking for. It does the job. Uh, it's, a, it's a sound. It's a, it's a basic chorus pedal. You can get different types of chorus sounds. Uh, so if you're looking for something different, you may want to look elsewhere. But if you're just looking for a... Uh, as a standard chorus pedal, if you want that sound in your arsenal, if you're if you're a beginner, or if it's a present for someone else, it's, you can't go wrong with this. So I hope you found that useful. That was the Behringer UC200 Ultra Chorus pedal. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and please also consider subscribing. I'm still trying to reach my first 1,000 subscribers and with your help, I will get there hopefully sooner rather than later. So I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed that. Please check out the other videos that I've got uh, and let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see. Uh, I do lessons as well, as well as gear reviews. I've been doing a lot of Helix stuff recently because I've been kind of getting back into the Helix, both the uh, Stomp and the Floor. So if you want to see more stuff on that, let me know below as well. Uh, and apart from that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.